Hi, YouTube. Welcome to Phasmophobia. So they just uh, announced a uh, preview number seven and or development preview number seven. And I wanted to do bl bl uh, a blind reaction to it. People kept saying it's like a really interesting one. And I'm really curious to see what they did. I haven't looked yet. It's going to be like completely blind and just seeing like what's going on. Okay, let's get into it. Uh, we go over here. Uh, let's, let's go like this. And okay. So development preview seven released today at the date this video is getting released. Okay, so progression. First, we'd like to announce a uh, major update coming shortly after 8.1. Yada, yada, yada. Equipment upgrades for your investigation. Okay, so it seems like they're going to be talking about like the progression update itself here. Concerns on while we're doing a wipe. The wipe is needed for the new leveling system. You'll unlock uh, equipment and upgrades in a specific order. Money and experience numbers will be adjusted. Current level will be saved, and in the future, you'll get a unique badge. I'm not going to get it because I troll too much. <laughs> I have more hours in Phasmophobia than like 90% of people I know. I'm still like lower level than everyone. Uh, much needed custom difficulty overhaul. The plan is to reduce the maximum reward multiplier down from 25 to 15. The apocalypse challenge will be reduced to match. Okay, that's good to know because I haven't done the apocalypse challenge yet. Making games closer rewards, counterparts, resulting fair awards, fair... Okay. So that's just talking about that. Uh, oh, a new difficulty! Insanity! Ghosts will have two types... Will hide two types of evidence. No course possession. Change room more often. No setup time. Much less sanity. Okay. So this sounds like, um... Yeah, so this just seems like Nightmare without a curse possession and one item less and uh, more ghost room changes. There's one step farther down from the rabbit hole of Nightmare. One less evidence. Okay, so forth, so forth. Adding a brand new system Phasmophobia. A rotational difficulty. Challenge mode. Wait, wait, challenge mode? I'm in? I don't know what it is, but give me. Each week will prevent a different challenge uh, in a difficulty slot. Offering custom modes are handmade to, by us. If you complete them three times at a specific location, you'll earn a large chunk of money and experience. Challenge comes out no risk. Equipment is provided for free. And you lose nothing if you die? Bro, this was made for me. Can we do it with other people? I really want to mess with them. Get your candles ready. All the lights are out. Okay, that doesn't seem too bad. Uh, that's why I see him. No fuse box, no flashlights. So candles and glow sticks. Okay. Uh, hide and seek where the ghost... Official hide or seek game with the ghost or audio only contract focused on paranormal microphones. Oh, shit, dude. Dude, that could be a lot of fun. I love the para mic. I never find anything with it, but I love that thing. Okay, shop updates. Currently loadouts are primary way, yada yada yada. Some players don't like to use loadouts every time. They prefer to add equipment manually. I prefer the loadouts, but I don't like the current loadout system. If you want to re add or remove a few items quickly, you'll either have the current shop or one quick loadout for uh, one Load out free for quick adjustments. Okay, this is good. This is good. This is what I wanted to see. This is actually a really good change. There's no way to tell what's being added to the lobby and what items you may be missing. There's no way to tell what has been added to the lobby and what you may be missing. Oh, so this is like one of the current problems they're talking about. Okay, okay. So proposed changes. Add... This is cleaner. On, this is cleaner over here, picture-wise. Hold on, let me scroll up a bit. I just re realized you guys are seeing chat. Let me fix that. I just realized we were seeing chat, but I wanted to do a blind reaction to everything. So, uh, or I should say chat disabled, but yeah, let's move on. Auto add, which allows you add selected load as soon as you join one. Okay, that's good. Okay, I kind of want to see what this is actually going to look like in game. I see like these icons right here and everything. I'm going to have to test that to, like, actually have a good opinion on it, though. Lastly, we're adding an all-equipment loadout that is unlocked for everyone as a third slot. 
Nice. I'm assuming that just means it loads up. While developing 8.1, we noticed a few strange runes in the warehouse lobby. What could those mean? Are there more? Who knows? That's an arrow in a butt. Oh, and that's it. Okay. So shop updates, challenge mode, uh, progression update uh, announcements. Coming shortly after 8.1. So this is coming soon then. A successful launch of 8.0. Oh yeah, so this is coming soon. The progression update is coming soon. That's actually super hype. That's actually super hype because the progression update has been like the main thing that we're looking forward to this year specifically. That's going to be really cool to see like what they do with that. The progression update, by the way, is just like unlock. They're going to reset everything like they said. Uh, you're going to get new items. Sorry, little guy. Uh, my honor is right here and I accidentally bumped him. Yeah, I'm weird. <laughs> uh, I forgot what I was talking about. Progression update. Uh, items, levels, prestige, that kind of stuff. So it's going to be exciting. That's going to be awesome when it comes out. I'm actually most excited for like the challenge mode. The other thing I would think about with like these rune symbols, if they're going to... This is a stretch. This is a very, very big stretch. Not gonna lie. But does this possibly mean they're gonna add, like, some way to exercise ghosts? I think that's a little bit far-fetched. But I have seen things in, like, other ghost hunting games somewhat similar to this. That sometimes that's, like, the route it goes. I'm really curious because uh, Phasmophobia has never been about exorcism. And I'm curious if, like, that's the route they're going to go. I doubt it. I doubt it. But with how big the progression update is supposed to be, if they've been, like, hiding this all along, that's going to be super hype. That's going to be cool. Um, well, I think that's about everything. Uh, thank you. Do the YouTube things down below. Probably below. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's usually below. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Have a good night. Bye.